A male got on the phone with EMS and stated that the child was playing and had a fall and possibly hit his head. Caller states he picked the male up and brought him inside. He is awake and breathing. Okay. It should be this one. Whoa, whoa, dog. Oh, little puppy. Little puppy is right following his owner. Almost got hit. Where'd it go? Where'd the dog go? Um, I don't see the dog. Oh, it's over there. OK. But this little kid, hold on, because the kid just crossed the street. Yeah. It's going to be this end house on the corner. Two on two. Hey. You OK? Yeah. Does anything hurt? What's up, guys? Your head right there in the front. Friends and family members said he was out playing football. He fell, and that they're not sure what he struck his head on, but that he struck his head. You want us to take him up to the hospital, my baby? Yeah, mama. Um, that's his brother. All right, are you coming oh, with on, us? Man. OK. His brother, he just got back from college. This was his first time watching him. So he definitely was very, very concerned. All right, Lorenzo, put some stickers on you, OK? But you're not even going to feel the stickers, OK, ma'am? I'm not going to be scared. OK? Here, baby. Hold this. See if you're going to okay. throw up. Keep throw your arm down. There for me, OK? Keep this arm down for me, Lorenzo. <laughs> During this time, he starts throwing up, which changes the call because somebody had hit their head and lost consciousness is one thing, but now that he's throwing up, it kind of takes it to a little higher level, a little more urgency involved in the call. All right. No, you think that was it? Yeah. OK. So now I'm going to start an IV in case he does continue to vomit. Then I can give him medication to help calm his nausea and vomiting. Is he allergic to anything, though? I don't think so, no. Okay. Have you ever had an IV before, baby? Yeah. Okay, so you know what it's gonna feel like, huh? Real quick pinch, okay? Nice little vein. Hey. Lorenzo, how old are you, bud? Look at me. Talk you ready? Me. How old are you? Ten. Ten? You're a good size for ten, bud. You are such a little man. I'm telling you, man, you're the champ. <laughs> you did better you're than most adults do. Oh, I'm telling you. My face. Yeah. Yeah. Where you hit it, huh? Right here? Everywhere. Everywhere? Yeah, OK. I mean, well, you can get back here so you can watch him. That's OK. Here, you want to lean back some? Yeah, just let me know if you feel like you're going to throw up again. Okay. Yeah, that's an old wives' tale. OK. <laughs> if he wanted to take a nap, he could absolutely take a nap. The things you need to be concerned about are if the person starts talking and not making any sense, if they're confused, if they get combative. Other than that, keep him comfortable. Bring him on up to the hospital, get checked out. He's a little trooper, I can tell you that. PD unit, request an EMS for detained subject that slammed his head in the back of the unit and broke the window. I am headed to a male subject that was in custody with NOPD. And they said he slammed his head against the window hard enough to break it. So automatically, in my head, I hear excited delirium. That takes a lot of force, a lot of willpower. That's not just, you know, let me out of this car. Because that's one of those hot button topics around the country right now is those people that die in police custody. I think it's something that needs better training within emergency medicine in the pre-hospital setting is how to recognize excited delirium and how to treat excited delirium to avoid, you know, those spontaneous cardiac arrests that happen. It can be caused by things like, let's say you have a home invasion, somebody breaks into your house. You know, I had a patient like that recently and her body just literally went into this high alert state. Your body just physiologically freaks the hell out. 
this guy's is probably because, you know, he got arrested. 6249 on scene. So what window did he hit? Oh, s Where's he at? What side of the car? Uh, this side? side? OK. Is he still kind of amped up? Hi. To intentionally hurt yourself by slamming your head against the window is legit. But you should walk into any call judgment free. Treating someone in custody is no different than treating somebody that is not in custody. If you have a medical complaint, it doesn't matter to me. That's what I'm there for. It's not on me to judge. What's your name, baby? Okay, but this is the thing. So you're bleeding, you got glass in your face, you got a big old bump on your forehead. If it's gonna kill me, let it kill me. I would have died for this Okay, well, we're gonna have to check you out, okay? So what we'll do is, um, so he broke that window, did you see it? No. Come see. So when you guys had him, was this like anger or did he seem like getting excited delirium? No, no, I mean, he was calm. He was a little agitated, he was being arrested. He was calm yeah. coming out of the house. Uh -huh. And, you know, we were going to, going to search him to put him in the car and he just, uh -huh. But up to okay. that point. So we're going to have to take him for sure because he's got obvious injuries. The most concerning thing that I'm seeing is the hematoma that he has to his head. And knowing how much force it takes to break a window like that, you should be relatively concerned about bleeding on the brain. This guy should definitely get a CT. They're going to clean you up, they're going to bandage you up. That's all they're going to do, all right? <laughs> Can you sit right here? That's some hard glass, and the fact that you broke it, you put some force behind that, man. You see how bad I am that I'm going to jail, and I'm about to miss my daughter's birthday for nothing. I don't even know why I'm going to roll. This is going to make me sick. Is that baby? Okay. It doesn't look to be an excited delirium. His pupils are not dilated. He's not tachycardic. He's not breathing rapidly. This guy is obviously having a really bad day, and he's upset. All right, my man. Look, we're going to check your battle signs. We're going to take a look at the little stuff you have on your head and all of that. We're here for your medical problems. You do. You slammed your head into a window. So can you tell us what happened? Like, why you hit your head on the back of the car? I don't want to choke you up. OK. Can you tell us what year it is? And what month it is? I don't care what year it is. I don't OK. Care what month it is. All right. So we're going to take you on over to the university, OK? Head injuries for everybody are unique. So him saying, I don't know, I don't care, is that stubbornness or is that the head injury? We don't know. But there's one sure way to find out, and that's a CAT scan. Can you look up? Put your head back. Here, I'm gonna lay you back some. Relax your head back on the stretcher. Relax. Can you relax your head back? We're trying to help you. We're not the police. Y'all helping me. We look. We here for your medical issue. You got glass all over your face. Good. Your face is all busted up. I'm, I'm trying. You want that glass in your eye? Okay you want to lose your vision? Don't you have a child? Let me get the glass from by your eye. Let me get this glass from by your eye, please. All right, I'm going to use this tape. I'm going to just push it on there. It's going to pull the glass off, all right? Close your eyes. Put your head back for me. OK. You look a little zesty somebody. Where are you? I'm about to go to OK, but I didn't do that to you. All right, so what make you think I'm going to I'm here trying to help you. OK. I'm mad at the wrong people. So we're going to have to take him. He can't refuse um, because he's got obvious injuries. But he won't answer any of our questions, so we can't technically say he's yeah, alert, you know. Fine. He's going to have to get medically cleared anyway. All right, guys, y'all be careful. 6249, you can show 3249 and we're out with one patient. Um, NOP is going to be following them to the hospital, and you can show me clear. I can't even imagine smashing my head against a damn window that hard to break a window like that. Be safe, be strong. Let's do this. Get that stretcher in here. You're gonna bleed to death. Randomizer, <laughs> randomizer. No, they're not dead. I can work with that.